It's signing day, and you know what that means. It's time to check out what we did in the offseason after losing a heartbreaking loss to Old Dominion. So let's go. We're going to check out our ranking amongst the rest of the country, and we're at number 103 behind Bowling Green. We were able to sign seven three-star players and ten two-star players. And let's see. B-Wade, the tight end, is our top-ranked recruit. He would not see that much time on the field unless we have a few injuries. And Morris also, the wide receiver, only 178 pounds undersized, so he may be a little quick. But the guy we're paying the close attention to is McCunchy, and at the seventh rank, he may be the starting linebacker coming into next year. And our only athlete that we were able to sign, Gerald Brown, we're trying to find a spot for him at halfback as a 76 overall, but we don't need any halfback wide out. 70 overall, we don't need any wide receivers. But defensively, I know we have a hole at free safety, and he may be able to fill in as a second rank free safety. So 71, and yes, sir, he will fall in as our second rank free safety. So now it's time to check out our returning key players for this upcoming season. As you can see right here, we have my boy Robbie Clark, man. Pretty good season last year, able to step into that starting role in the first beginning of the year and do his thing. And we also have our running back here, Dan Palmer. Had a pretty good season also. He will be a key part to the offense. And my boy, Tuttons right here. He's going to be electrifying just like he was last year, going up against the defenses in the Sun Belt. He did his thing. And at tight end, we got my boy David Brown, one of the best tight ends in the Sun Belt, probably the most versatile. He's going to be able to help us out in the passing game, hopefully a 500-yard reception season. And my boy, Kerry Mason also. He should be a senior this year. We haven't seen a 10-sack performance of him as of yet, but he was a highly touted recruit when he came in, and we looked to try to get him to the top of the sack rankings and also the other defensive tackle Patton coming in a former All-American he will be coming in to help out the D-line and also my boy Noah Curtis the 2016 Lombardi Trophy winner he's coming in off a 15 sack season let's see what he can do for us and Hollins our top cornerback he had a Big game-changing interception that could have led us to a win against Old Dominion in the bowl game. But we're very interested to see how he does this year. And the lone starting freshman linebacker, McCutcheon, I believe he's going to have a lot of success this year with the veteran group around him. But now it's time to check out the preseason polls. Georgia is the number one team in the country. And let's see where we're at, bro. We're sitting at 68. And we're not even the most talented team. We're the least talented team. And they believe we're the 68th ranked team. And you can see right there, our first game is going to be up against Alabama, the Crimson Tide. We're trying to shake up the college football world immediately, bro. Immediately. A C-plus overall, but our defense is a B-minus, man. Pretty good. So you can see our all-time record is... 28 and 22 our bowl record is one and one and we're back to back conference champs baby back to back conference champs and we're ready to get our third in a row and hopefully the Sun Belt teams can follow behind us they're projecting Arkansas State to win the conference this year followed by Georgia Southern in second Appalachia State in third and Louisiana in fourth and we're currently at number five how are they counting us out this much? The Sun Belt is getting kind of powerful now, but I believe we're the best team. We're not losing any games. We are not looking to lose any games, and we're looking to become a perfect team. We're trying to get 10 wins this year. So we are not the most talented team on paper, but I believe we have the best coach along with the best group of young players in the conference, and our quarterback play has finally been solidified by Robbie Clark. And the defense has always been consistent. And we're looking to, you know, at least shake it up. We want to be ranked this year. And now let's talk about the preseason All-Americans. My guy Noah Curtis was able to get All-American recognition in the preseason following a great last year. And also they thinking this guy's going to even outdo what he did last year, which was 15 sacks. We don't need 15 sacks from him. We just need 10 and some more chaos calls up front to give the defense 
a chance to get a turnover and the offense to get the ball back. And his brother, Andrew Patton, who is a senior also from Sumter, South Carolina, he's a all-American first team guy doing his thing and we're proud of these guys man they came a long way so let's see our schedule consists of number 18 Bama up front then we're going to play Duke then we're going to start our conference schedule at Troy then Georgia State we're going to be on a four game home stand then we're going to finish it off at USA UNCC coming to us an old rival and we're going to do Georgia Southern along with Appalachian State to end the season off. It's going to be interesting to see how we open up against Bama, but all the other teams on the schedule are beatable. If we can get a win against Bama, we may run the tables to a perfect season and hopefully get into a BCS game. If not, we're not losing more than two games this year in the season. Looking to take home. But I believe Bama will be our toughest test as of yet. And we're going to have to be able to shut these guys down. But if we let them get started here early with a lot of scores and we can't shut them down, it's going to be a long day for the Paladins. But the next episode, we're going to be heading to Tuscaloosa, try to upset Alabama, and get this season started, baby. We're going to try to take this Sun Belt conference to the next level and i appreciate you guys for watching this video hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell and holla at your boy mg fam let's get it